space. The observer kind of looking around the field wants to make sure that Cloud didn't sneak an expansion early. Looks like Cloud's going to do the same thing kind of around that corner, make sure that there aren't kind of uh, probe scouts moving. If uh, Otherwise, if there was, you'd kind of move out. That's the thing. If you were going to establish an early base, that's where you would have to do it. G5 oh, is going to be able to get that observer out, but looks like he almost was in a position to lose it once again. Well, let's see if Cloud can make it up. He's going to have a lot. Uh, it looks like one up gateway uh, pumping. G5 still at five, where he's at six, but uh, still I'm wondering if the differentiation in that earlier count, never mind, G5 just now getting that six online. Um, and I think, again, having just that earlier gateway with more time, it's just going to have the additional uh, Dragoon count to work out. But interestingly enough, Cloud has a, it looks like he's moving out to go establish an expansion here at the nine o'clock position rather than the three o'clock position. I'm sorry, the three o'clock rather than the nine o'clock. And uh, interestingly enough, looks like he has a higher supply count which actually confuses me a little bit. Looks like G I, I would have assumed that G5 would be able to maintain that. Um, I'm not sure if he's cutting probes or not. I haven't been able to kind of take a look. He does have an idle probe right here. I don't think he's missing his micro here. It does look like he's starting to cut probes. Um, and it looks like he's also starting to just, yeah, he's just pumping out of uh, all six gateways. And now he's starting to move forward. He's also got a pylon along that back edge. And he's starting to move out just as able to sniper observer right there, but starting to move out. And this Even these four Dragoons out of this fight could be bad for Cloud. Cloud needs to hold this. This is exactly where he needs to do the defense. He's going to end up losing these four Dragoons, which he needed in this battle. And it's going to be, oh, he's running headlong into a segregated fight. Let's see if G G5 can move around. Don't I don't think these High Templar have Psystorm upgraded yet, so they're not really going to be useful in this fight. That's another bad thing for Cloud. So G5 looks like he's going to be easily going to be able to take this match. Yeah, the High Templar just sitting there almost completely ineffective. And uh, yeah, G5 completely steamrolling this army. And now he has established map control. It looks like he's going to be sitting pretty. Going to be able to establish his third base. Cloud's going to have to cancel that Nexus in the corner. Just needs to dedicate some uh, some Zealots over there. And now basically what... Ooh, good Psystorm though. Um, basically what Cloud needs to do do at this stage is load up some shuttles pray that he can get some good uh, some actually never mind he's going to just end up getting completely rolled g5 all those high templar and all that gas and all that supply right there without the storm completely obliterating cloud right now cloud didn't have enough kind of backup troops to fight this off he's going to end up losing his natural secondary let alone that three o'clock base he's a single cannon along that corner yeah there's just too many dragoons here for g5 he's just going to end up running this completely over going to probably take this match a little bit faster than even i expected honestly I expected a little bit of a longer match match. He does have a Dark Templar, but there's two observers right overhead, and really, even if Cloud does manage to maintain this ramp here, he's not going to be able to stop that Nexus from, from collapsing. He's not going to be able to get that 3 o'clock base from running. G5 continuing to pour the troops out there. Cloud GG's. G5 easily able to roll to victory here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, and that was on first view through for people wondering in the commentary competition. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, go check out all the commentaries, view it, enjoy them absorb them try to commentate yourself um, and there's actually prizes and stuff online vote for your favorite commentary check out all the tsl action pretty good commentators doing it and uh well actually tasteless artosis day nine chill really i gotta say tasteless and artosis are my no offense to day nine and chill but my favorite uh commentating combo period that's where it is so go check that out have a lot of fun with it uh, and support the community thanks for listening